Mishi Mishi Kanichiwa, oh. welcome back to the vlog. Hey, hey, you always started so weird. What do you mean so weird? I like it, don't get me wrong. Mishi Mishi is hello, can you hear me? And Konnichiwa is hello. Hello, can you hear me? Hello? <laughs> <laughs> so today, finally, we are going to pick up parts for the JZX. Honestly, it's been a few days since I could actually work on it. We worked on the dip for a little bit yesterday until I messed up that bearing, but- um, Hold on. 6 oh, bro. Let's go! Right hand drive, dude. Top secret body kit dude, or something. I'm just gonna move here and buy a bunch of those and sit on them until like 2005, 2006, and then it'll be a hot commodity exactly. when they're ready to import. Honestly, that's not a bad idea. Sacrifice like five years. It's not sacrifice in yeah, Japan. It's sick. 40,000 people just stole your idea. Not everyone can move, you know? Fair enough. People are tied down. The beauty of me is I'm not tied down. I'm living in the mother's basement, dude. A little basement dweller over here. Let's go. <laughs> it's Mom's got, basement does have a lot of opportunities. It's got a lot of perks because yeah. like you can come and go as you please. And Natalie actually loves the dungeon. <laughs> she does. She's like, I like the little dungeon that we have. I'm like, yeah, you are my girl. You know what I'm saying? I love that for you. Anyways, um, and she loves my mom, dude. I'll come home at like 10 o'clock from the shop and they're gonna, they're like drunk together drinking wine. They're like, come on, Chris, have some wine. I'm like, all right, great. Like, this Fantastic. is sick. Love this. But yeah, no. Anyways, we're going to pick up some OEM Toyota gaskets. We've been waiting about like four or five days for them and that's really Sorry, gonna- Sorry, another cool car. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say a few days ago there's not any cars? Yeah, I I'm bad at saying. You are you are a sayer, bro. So you you admit it now. Yeah, You're a sayer. I'm a sayer. All right, cool. I actually like that you admit that. But, but parts run. Parts run. We're going to pick up parts. Everything. We'll explain it when we get this stuff. I still have to figure out if I have to pay there or not. Because if we do, it's going to be a serious issue because we don't have Just enough cash. Just letting you go. Thank you, man. Arigato. Nissan Atlas. Arigato, mate. <laughs> I guess that's how the Aussies say it. Yeah. I can't wait to hear that at Abisu. I know. <laughs> Dude, anyway. I, I love the plates. How clean is 111? It's pretty clean. That's clean. The white on white, dude? White on white. Hell on. yeah. Tokyo Toyota. Let's go. All right. But parts run. Parts run. We'll see you when we see you. Awesome. Chase. Wow. That was a freaking nightmare, dude. Yeah, we got, we got lost four times. It was a 20 minute drive. And it took us an hour and a half to get here, dude. The Google Maps does not like this place at all. But hey, we got the parts. I have to pee so freaking bad, dude. I'm about to American it and just pee somewhere. I can't hold it any longer. Just stop at the first convenience store. Oh my God, dude. You know like when it builds up all the way to the end of the tip? That's where we're at, bro. I'm gonna fucking lose it. We've left the balls, huh? Oh, dude, it's like in my pelvis. I, I'm like key going to stay alive. I don't even know where I'm going. I don't even have a GPS. <laughs> uh, just find a convenience store, bro. All right, you boys know we're in Japan right now and I am absolutely loving it here. Now, the only thing that's a little out of whack for me is my diet. And I love using Factor for my meals because it keeps me on track. You guys know, Factor has sponsored this channel a couple times before and ever since they approached me, I've absolutely fallen in love with them. They have great meals, they're very fast, Two minutes in the microwave and you are ready to go. You have you don't have to worry about prep, you don't have to worry about anything, and it's way less expensive to actually buy the factor plan than it actually is to either cook at home or even eat out. Trust me, I know, I do both, and factor is way cheaper. I also love factor because not only do they have meals, they also have fruit juices, they have protein shakes. I personally love the protein shakes because I go to the gym a lot, and if you're trying to gain muscle and everything, it's very important to kind of keep all of that protein up. I usually do about 180 grams a day. So having a nice protein shake at 18 grams a bottle really helps out and it's pretty low calories as well. So you sorry. It smells so good. One out of 10, honest. This is definitely, I wanna say a solid eight. We're always on the go, rushing around. So it's very important to us that I can just grab a meal out of the fridge, put it in the microwave, two minutes and I'm ready with a meal. They offer many plans on their website, you can go check it out, but my favorite is the gourmet meal. You can get seafood, steak, there's so many different options. I highly suggest you use code RUDNICK50 and get down in the description and check it out. Make sure you guys head to factor75.com, click the link below and use code RUDNICK50 to save yourself 50% off your first factor box and two free wellness shots from three available flavors to every order while you are an active subscriber. I wanna thank Factor for sponsoring this video. They are one of my favorite sponsors of the channel because it's just delicious it's really affordable and in today's market we all need that stay healthy 
save money, factor, Rudnick 50, check it out. Ugh. All right, boys, well, welcome back to the series where um, Chris doesn't really know what he's doing, but Chris is gonna figure out as we go. We're off to a late start. The parts didn't arrive until 5.30 p.m. today, and we didn't end up getting there until like 6.10, because like I said, we got lost and everything. So it's now seven o'clock, so my goal tonight is to actually disassemble this turbo, get everything on this turbo and actually get it in the car. I think it's a pretty ambitious thing for never doing it, but I think we can do it. All the OEM parts that we ended up getting was we got a new drive belt. We got new timing covers, because my timing covers are a little how you doing and everything, so we ended up getting that. We have this O-ring that I have to figure out what it is, because I don't know. We have the front main. I believe this is the front main right here. The rear main, these are probably the cam seals, and I know from Dudley when we were actually working on his 2J at um, D1NZ. There's two different sizes to the cam seals. The VVT cam seal is actually a little bit bigger than just the normal cam seal. So we're definitely gonna have to do a little research on that, figure that out. Rocker cover gasket, turbo gasket. Ooh, this is a nice one, that's good, I like that. Even though it looks a little smaller than the other one, but we'll look into it, all good. We got a brand new OEM timing belt, another rocker cover gasket. Oh, this looks, oh my God, how many downpipe gaskets? Look at how many gaskets are in here. Why is there four dump pipe flanges? Oh wait, no, these are smaller it seems. Like I said, I'm learning right now, so all this is pretty new. Now that I'm looking at everything, it's it is definitely just a little overwhelming. This looks like a, like a water pump seal of some sort or maybe a turbo gasket. Oh shit. We got a brand new tensioner, because if you're doing the timing and everything, um, you might as well get a new tensioner. Mine did feel good, but we just got a new one. I think it was like um, 50 US, which is pretty good actually. What is this? I don't know what this is. Crankshaft pulley. Oh, that's the pulley for the timing belt. And then we got a brand new balancer, because the reason why my timing covers were messed up is we think my, the, like, the rubber inside of the crank pulley is actually starting to deteriorate and when that happens it starts to rattle and when it starts to rattle um, obviously your timing cover gets ruined and stuff I don't have any crank walk or anything Sam checked that out for me and he said I was a-okay and this I have no idea what this is we just ordered shit the tensioner for um, the accessory belt right here so that's nice that's all brand new so pretty much we have everything to make this thing fresh and nice so definitely stoked on that. What the hell is this? Ooh, how much was this? 115,000 yen for all of that. 115,000 yen. Throw it down in the comments what you think it is, go. Holy fuck, fuck me, dude. Well, it's a little expensive, uh, 759 bucks, but I guess we'd rather be safe than sorry, right? So, well, let's really not fuck this up. Oh no, what did I get myself into? <laughs> All right, let me grab some pliers. Let's just get right into it. Sam gets here at eight. His car is actually on the dyno right now. It went really well. He told me the numbers, but if you want the numbers, you can go over to his channel. Seven o'clock, he gets here at eight. So I got an hour to myself to just do this, so. Easy, easy. Oh, nice, dude. Don't you love when things are just buttery? We got that. Fuck you. Oh, thank Christ. The only bad thing about this whole car is one, that it's blue, and two, that every seal was leaking, so we just didn't want to mess around. We wanted to spend $758 on OEM gaskets. <laughs> Fuck. <sighs> I think these threads are tapered, so the more you thread it in, the harder it gets. You're not, these aren't actually meant to go all the way down, especially looking at this one. It's not even halfway down, so that'll be all good, all G. off and now we can actually see what kind of gasket that is. So we'll clean this surface. We'll put that back for now. And we'll go through our gaskets. Right. So we found the right gasket. Normally if it's like an auto zone gasket or something, I heard there's two of them. There's two of them. Ooh, that's weird. Well oh, it's Sam. Oh, uh, real funny, Sam. Yo, Sam, I got a question for you. Answer your phone. Fucking weirdo. Stalker weirdo. That's crazy. Okay. 
Good. I'm happy I'm doing this now instead of the track. At the track would be miserable. My goal is to get the majority of this car done before Zach gets here. He messaged me on Instagram, he was like, so what's the deal, am I coming to build a whole JZX or what? And I'm like, damn it dude, call me out like that? Like, I gotta get, I gotta get a lot done. I am really taking my sweet time doing that roll cage though, I ain't gonna lie. That's better than six. Ooh, this is a tricky one. This is a tricky one. Ugh. Matt, can you clean that too? Finger tight, baby, let's go! All right, hand wash break. There's gonna be a lot of those today. Okay, they're not perfect, but they'll do for now. Let's move this out of the way. Nice. Every time we put a part on, we're one step closer. Taking this heat shield off, it'll be making my life easier. Nice. Woo! Oh, that pulls the whole thing off. Cool. For some reason, this gun sucks, but I have full faith that this is gonna work. Yeah, that's what I thought. I think that was the one I loosened, actually. Nope, whoa! No, 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 no. Come on, come on. Love to see it, thank you. This is gonna be fun. Oh, not bad, not bad. It's a long stud, dude. Jesus. All right, cool. Now all we gotta do is remove studs. We have four, eight, oh my God, four, eight, nine, 11. 11 studs to remove. Wait. Achoo! Bless you. Oh. The turbo studs are now on, it's time for the downpipe. boys well honestly that didn't go that bad that actually went really smoothly there wasn't anything that was like too hard or too crazy it was just a little time consuming I just want to double check these because that came with it yeah I just want to make sure those are tight I knew that wasn't a 10 I don't even know why I tried that just good to get your hands on everything you know yeah just 
Get that a little crank. Probably a little too tight, but that's fine. Cool. Alright, so now everything's tight. I triple checked everything. Look, I'm being just fucking paranoid now. That's a 12. It's fine. Now, no, now that I've checked it, now that I touched it. Okay. Yeah, dude, everything's tight. Everything is good. I didn't touch those. Now, now I'm paranoid. <laughs> Better to be paranoid though, right? Yeah, I'm sure they torqued it right. Yeah, I know. It's just like, you never know. Yeah. You never know until you know. Yeah, those are good. Everything is tight now. So, we got the down pipe on, or the dump pipe. We got the Y band in, the coolant, the oil, the feed, the return. So now is the question. Oh, look who just arrived. Perfect timing. So, while I was doing that, Matt was kind enough to um, clean out the engine bay and stuff. So, all of this. Should be pretty degreased. He actually did a really good job because this was disgusting, yeah. wasn't it? It was filthy. Yeah. Yeah, no, it looks a lot better. So hopefully, I mean, now we'll be able to check for oil leaks, but hopefully there shouldn't be any because we're really just replacing everything on this, so it shouldn't be a problem. Sadly, the only thing that we couldn't change were these gaskets because the gaskets were um, out of stock for like a week and a half, but they look pretty good. They're not too bad. We'll probably just clean them up a little bit with some brake clean and stuff. But um, other than that, the turbo can now go in. I'm just trying to figure out how I want to do it. You think we should bolt it to the turbo or to the manifold? Or do you think we should place the turbo in like we did before? Like put the, the manifold in. on and then pop it up. Yeah, do the drain. Yeah, the drain. Oh yeah, I gotta do the seal on the drain. Oh yeah, and then uh, what? What do you? Just saw the mess under the car. Dude, look. Yeah, it's bad. Nice. Good job. Dude, there's so many studs you have to pull out. Yeah, it sucks. Insane, it dude. sucks, right? This is time consuming. Yeah. Good, you got the new pulley too. Yeah, we got everything. Oh yeah, man. Didn't even have to pay for it. Went on that SAMA HQ thing or something. Oh yeah, it went on my hand. Yeah. I'll just invoice you for it. No, later. it's fine. I mean, I figured it's all good. Just uh, wash your hands from that. I guess I get a free car built. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but everything's going great. We're going to take that return off, clean that up and then put the new seal on, and then put the turbo in. Mm. My goal is to just get the turbo in tonight. That's a good goal. I think that's good. Have you changed um, this gasket yet? One of those gaskets you showed me is potentially this one here for the water line. I didn't, no, I didn't do that. Those can tend to leak, so it's a good idea to do it while you have access to it. Because okay. if that leaks with the turbo there, it's a bad time. Okay. The other one's probably for the thermostat. <coughs> yeah, that's the thermostat. You don't need to touch that one. Just let's check all the gaskets you got and just make sure that... All right, boys. So we're going to be doing the front main right now. I would like to get this whole thing assembled for this video. We, we could do the clutch and stuff, but I'd rather just do the front of the engine and like kind of get the whole engine together. And then we could start a new chapter later, you know what I mean? I'm just royally fucking this seal because it doesn't matter. Look at that. This thing was pissing out. Sam, do you like to oil your seals? Yeah, um, but I think the cam seals come with it. The, um, the crank doesn't, so you need to put some good oil on it. Inside and out, yeah? All right, we just lubed up the seal. Just place the top on first, because I can't really see if it's folding up there. And then just walk it around. Is that good? That looks fucking first try. -y. I'm sure everyone has their own way of doing this. I mean, I like to just lightly tap it around. Just work work its way in, you know, until it's all flush. Just like everything. Stuff like this is always a little stressful for me because if you mess it up, there's, you gotta take the whole car apart, you know? So it's like, you don't wanna mess it up. You just don't. Wow, that fucking sounded like butter though. Don't you love the sound of butter? Come on, work her in. Just keep going. Okay, yeah, yeah. Is that pushed in too much though? It is a little too much there, but it should pop out a bit. That's kind of what I was hoping, but if it doesn't, we're fucked. Yeah. Should we pull it? Now I'm nervous. Uh-oh. Help! That's not going to pop out. Tap here. It's Did not it going to pop out. out. I don't think so. No, I know so. Is it pop? No, dude. Oh, dude. Dude. I'm running away. Bye. Yo, fuck you, dude. You pushed it in too much. I didn't push it at all. I watched you do it. I just held it with my finger. We're down here. It's no, we're up, fucked, bro. How nah. are we getting that out? It'll come out. Don't you dare get something sharp. You're not going to come and fuck my day up. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The only thing I was thinking Yo, of doing back was back up with that, dude. Pressure here. Yeah. Oh, oh. 
you scared me with that. Okay, yeah, yeah, you, you should be good now. Oh, now yeah, we need you're it over perfect, here, yeah. though. No, you're, you're perfect. Not perfect. Now. What are you talking about? No, no, no. I'm saying like you don't need no. me to hold it anymore. Cars can be so stressful. <laughs> yeah. I mean, especially if it's, like if you've never worked on one of these before, too. Everything's everything's the unknown. Oh, I think that's solid. That looks good to me, buddy. Do you Send think it. it's a little too deep right there, though? Top needs to go in a bit more to match to everything else. If you just tap the top, but the bottom is a little in, but it should be okay. I think that's good. What do you think? It's in too much at the bottom compared to the top. If you I run your finger. No, I understand that, oh, but it's even everywhere else but there. What do you think? What, do you, what should we do? Bring it's it a one JZ. It'll huh? probably be all right. It's a one JZ. It'll probably be all right. Didn't you say yours looked like that? Sure. What? Sure. You're a piece of shit, dude. You'll be all right, Chris. <laughs> just the front and rear man are always aids always always because i feel like no matter what you always second guess guess yourself always, you always. you always and do it's, and it's just frustrating because it's always that one part that literally is you gotta like take half the engine everything part. apart yeah. rear or front i was rear literally front. just saying that like it's scary because you have to take the whole fucking car apart to everything. be able to get back in it's good i'm just It'll be fine. I'm being too crazy be about yeah, it. Yeah, it'll be fine. Everything's good. Yeah. Everything's it'll be fine. good. Yeah. So now, I'm going to lower it. So where are we at with the manifold now? Am I good to put yeah, the manifold on? Yeah, you're good on? to put it on. You got your gaskets. Shove her on. Yeah, because we thought there was a little hiccup because... One of the part numbers Matt gave us was for a gasket kit, but I guess we got both gaskets. We got a JZX90 gasket kit and that for the twins, and then we also got the JZX100 gasket kit, so there was a double up. Do we you don't have that, I have that. Do you? Yeah. Yeah, because this is... Gonna cost you. Nah, you're good for the it. Front wheels. Get the fuck out of here, dude. I do need wheels. You do? I do. Oh, I got four brand new ones in boxes for yeah, you. Yeah, borrow them. No, you can't borrow a brand new wheel. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. We'll do a deal for you, though. We'll do a good no, deal. We'll, shut we'll the get fuck you right. Up, we'll get you right. I'll tell you what. We'll put it on layaway. I, no, I tell you what. You, you can pay 20% of what I paid for them. You didn't pay anything, so I'll pay. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You know what, deal? You really fucking shot yourself a foot there, huh? Look at you with that I didn't fucking think that one through. shit eating grin. Look at this shit eating grin right Stop. now. <laughs> How about this? If I can do a 15 second handstand, you give them to me for free. No, I've been watching you do 15 second handstands all week. <laughs> we'll work out something. Whatever. 20% of what you paid. How about, how about just 600? No, fuck off with that shit. I'm not, dude, I spent 600 bucks a day on this fucking turd bucket. Fucking Smurf boy over here. It's taken my whole life. Thank God fucking crypto's going back up because I feel I'm like, I'm okay. Yeah, to think you would have had a nice house. <laughs> yeah, I spent all of the money that I had on my house on this car. Are there termites in this? Did you check? <laughs> There's no termites. There's a bunch of oil leaks though. Yeah, but at least that's fixable. Yeah. Uh, termites are too kind of, which is a lot more money. Uh, just a lot more money, yeah. All right, I'm going to take this off. I'm kind of bouncing between projects, but everything's got to be done. So let's pop that off. Just, I'm going to punch that. Nope. Wow, look at that. Just look at it. Okay, put that in my pocket. Okay. All right, so just to be safe, we're just going to RTV this. We're going to use some black RTV, just a thin layer on the front and back. Um, I always usually do this with AutoZone ones, but Sam likes to do it with um, these as well, just because it's just an extra safety precaution. It's and prone to leak those places. What, this one's prone to leak? Yeah. Okay, well, we're definitely RTVing it then. We'll be right back. I already cleaned the surface on both, so that can sit there. All right, so that oil gasket is now done. Now we're gonna lower the car and we are going to do that coolant seal. Hopefully I have it. If not, Sam will just give it to me for free because uh, why not? We'll pop this bad girl off. Whoa, 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 let's just confirm that that's okay. Because that's really tight. Cool. There's no way there's gonna be 
Well, Sam got us good on this one. So that pipe from the front, it goes all the way in the back of the engine. And I believe it goes all the way underneath the intake manifold, which you can't, you can't get to. And then we got that little hose right there. But the problem is I can't pull it off. Oh, I hold both of these. Can't pull it off because all of these bends, it doesn't allow me. I mean, I'm gonna try to take that off. I don't think it's gonna do anything, but fuck, dude. I'm not, I'm not taking it all the way off under there. That's gonna be a disaster. So we're gonna just see what happens there and figure it out. Ooh, I wish I left that because I don't think it was leaking. All right, so Sam had that new gasket. We just ended up prying it just lightly just to get it off. And now we just gotta put that bolt back in. I put a nice thin layer of RTV and it actually came out perfectly. What are you putting the bottom sprocket on? Mm -hmm. Hell yeah, brother. That's not the broken one, is it? Nope. Hell yeah. Don't forget, I still gotta take these off, so I don't mm -hmm. know. I don't know what you're doing, but. I'm just getting that on so that it's done. Thanks, mate. Appreciate don't you. Get anything. Arigato, mate. Arigato, mate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Matt spent some time cleaning up these gaskets. It is a bummer that we can't get them in time, but it still has a little bit of concave in it, so they're not completely squished yet. And now they're clean. The head is clean. Well, the surface is clean. The actual head's not clean. I'm, I got too much work to be fucking scrubbing here for two days. Um, I'm unsure if you can just bolt up the turbo and the manifold and take it off at the same time or put it on at the same time. I'm sure you can. But the way I did it was I kind of placed the turbo in and unbolted it from the manifold and then I'm just going to bolt up the turbo. It's probably the more annoying way of doing it, but I just know it works. So I'm just going to do it that way. Drop this in here. Wait, hold on. Let me just lower it a little. If that ring falls out, we're fucked. Yeah. Right, rings in. Go ahead. All right. Not too bad. I mean, you could probably get it on all one piece, but I took it out that way. Oh, dude. Nice. She looks nice, dude. As far as coming together, it sucks that the valve train is so gross. E85 will fix that. Yeah. That's just because, like, the people that own these cars, like, they just don't give a fuck because well, yeah, they don't are, care. Like I said, I think at one point these were a $3,000 car here, you know. Yeah. Now they're a lot more than $3,000. <laughs> yeah, yeah, now that we've destroyed them all. Yeah, pretty much. All right, cool. So I just got to tighten those. All right, so before I actually bolted everything up, I just wanted to raise it really fast just to make sure the return line's all good, nothing's kinked. The feed line looks like it's going to line right up once we tighten up the turbo. And everything is good there. Check the bracket. The bracket is going to line up as well. Just double checking all my work just to make sure everything is good. Because this, like it's all fine to get together, but it's just really annoying to like take apart if you have to, if you miss something that's super dumb. So it just took me two seconds to check that. So now that that all checks out, we can go ahead, we can tighten up the manifold and we can tighten up the turbo. So I'll just see you guys when I do it after I do that because it's gonna take probably about 20 minutes. All right, boys, well, it is 90% tight. Um, we just stopped to eat some dinner and it's now 11.20 at night and the last train is at midnight. So we kinda got a boogie right now. We gotta get three, tra hit three trains um, to get to our buddy Riley's house. So with that being said, I think we're gonna close it right here. It's, the video is not over, it's just the night is over for me. But um, yeah, we'll catch up with you guys about right now when we um, start finishing it up. When I get here tomorrow, I'm not even gonna film, I'm just gonna get the heat shield on, tighten up the feed, tighten up the drain, get that all sorted, get the downpipe on. Uh, we're gonna leave the downpipe as we so gotta do the clutch and stuff. But um, yeah, we'll just film when this looks a little better. You ready? Boom. And just like that, boys, look at that. We got the J-pipe back on. Everything is on, including all of the heat shields and everything. I'm not gonna lie, when I first started working this afternoon, the first bolt I took off fell underneath heat shield of the turbo. So I immediately had to take the heat shield back off the turbo, spent like 20 minutes searching for this bolt because I just want everything to go back together correctly and all everything is the same, like we're 
doing everything correct, which I'm stoked about. Um, the only difference we changed really was we put a normal vacuum line on the actuator because we're going to put a little boost controller somewhere right there because we're going to be doing what, a bar and a half? Just one bar. Just one bar, huh? These normally make like 0 0.7, 0 0.6 stock, so that's yeah. like double. So one, point, or one bar is like 14.7 PSI, so about 15 PSI, which this thing should rip pretty good. So we got the J-pipe on, everything is on. I don't know if I want to do anything in the back yet. I kind of want to get the transmission up so everything's not rocking. Because you can see here, which honestly, it's a good thing that this broke because it was probably going to break regardless. When I took the transmission off, the engine obviously fell forward and that was so corroded and old that it actually ended up breaking inside, which is honestly a blessing in disguise because mm. that It'll was probably going to break at episode. It looks like it was already going to break, yeah. If it broke because of that, because it's not pulling that, look how long this hose is. I know, it's... If it broke because of that, then yeah, it was going to definitely break while you were driving. So we already have one of those on order. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yeah, do you clutch? Do, do you rear main? Do you flywheel clutch and then throw yeah, the Yeah, just because on? I want the engine to be just level and yeah. good before I touch anything back there yeah. and stretch things. The only know? thing I'd recommend you do is before you do that and you rear main, take your coil packs out and clean inside there. Because oh, and then jack up the a engine little drain. Some... Yeah, the head like drains all the fluid from there out the back. Okay. So before you get all, get all that oil out before you get in there and change your rear yeah, main Yeah, if you clutch. look in here, Matt, you can see it's pretty crusty in there. So what we'll do is we'll take all of the coil packs out. We'll put an old spark plug because we got some new HKS boys to go in. Um, we'll put all the spark plugs in it so we can just douse it and brake clean and just kind of let it trickle out onto some cardboard. And then um, we'll probably put the trans on. I'm doing everything in my power to avoid timing. The timing? The timing's easy, bro. Yeah, it's just scary. I've done it to uh, RV26s, Miatas, yeah. Interferes, or whatever. But as long as the VVT is all the way, yeah, clockwise. Yeah. It looks like this is rotated a tiny bit, which is fine. Um, if you actually look, though, it looks at centered. Oh, yeah, that's right. Sorry, I keep going by these stupid lines yeah, that are on here. Yeah, someone's an idiot and they marked it wrong. I don't even know how they did that because yeah. on the cam there is a marking. Yeah, we'll but line But you can look, up. it's pretty much on the money. Yeah, this one's on the money. This one's a tooth off right now. Is it? Yeah, so we'll just move it a tiny bit. That's fine. And then the but bottom. These have to come off anyways because we have to do the cam seals. Yeah, that's right. Get everything dialed in and she'll be mint. You'll have a leak free JZX100 at Ebisu. That should just keep going. The only thing you gotta worry about is crashing into things. I'm super excited too, because um, we contacted Serial 9 and they're gonna be helping us out on this build as well. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to show you guys all of that. They're gonna ship that out Tuesday because we were a little late because of the time zones and stuff. So Tuesday, they're gonna ship that out. We should have that at the end of the week. And after Serial 9 products, we should be good. Yeah, you should be good. Like, dude, this thing is gonna be so solid. Yeah. It's gonna be, it's probably gonna be more solid than my actual drift car at home. Yeah, no, for real. <laughs> That's Which literally. is kind of crazy. You just build these things to be bulletproof. And then once you've done all that basic stuff, then you never have a problem. Yeah, I kind of, if as long as this thing is not totaled after Mitsuri, I kind of want to come back to Japan and like hang out with Hayden, go to his spot and like drift. Because the cool thing about Japan is like all of the tracks are open 365 days a year. Uh, Most of them. That's what Hayden said. Uh, okay, so they are open, but they're booked out. So what happens is it's like an event that someone else has rented the track for that day. So you got to look at the calendar a week in advance before the closing date comes off and go there. Some tracks are open to the public every single day. Yeah. But even then you still need to check because a rental can take over that. There's not many places like that in America no. that I know of, at yeah. least by me. I mean, obviously yeah. you have- um, English Town. Obviously you have Chris Knapp at English Town and he has a drift school as well. So if you guys are local to New Jersey, you can definitely hit up Chris Knapp. He's always doing private days and stuff. And honestly, for what you get, it's really cheap. Yeah, I mean, you taught Natalie in what, like 20 minutes? Yeah, and like you have the whole track to yourself and you guys know English Town is super sick. Regardless, we are gonna take the coil packs out and I'm gonna douse a whole can of brake clean in it. Have fun. <laughs> Woo! It's a good clutch. Let me give you a little before and after shot, friends. So I'll just do it real fast, but you get it before. Look at that one, super cross. Let me see if I can get a spot focus going on. But this one's already looking way better. Crazy difference here. It's amazing what a little brake clean can do. And some air, but that's all clean. So now we're gonna take some of these new to me HKS spark plugs. We'll pop them in and I'll probably start just cleaning the rocker cover, like get those half moons out of there because we got a brand new rocker cover gasket as well. And uh, yeah, that'll be good. And then we can start to put the clutch on, do things like that. But 
Now that's all clean and ready to rip. All right, out with the old and with the HKS old. So um, Sam on his race car, he's, they change spark plugs all the time so that he has a bunch of like good used spark plugs. So save good old Hundy for using these. You can tell these things are still brand new and stuff. So it's all good. All right, so now all the spark plugs are in. I'm gonna go ahead, like I said before, we got those little half moons right there. Just gonna pop those out, clean it. The rest of the rocker cover is pretty clean other than the front, but we're gonna have to take those two front caps off anyways to get the cam seals in. So I'll clean that up when the cam gears are off, this backing plate is off and everything. And then once the timing's done, once that's all good, the transmission's back in, it'll be super easy. To just place the rocker cover on and um, get her done that way, so sick. All right, that is all finished. We got the coil packs on, we got the wires on. We may have to take just cylinder one off again, just in case, but because of this wiring and everything, because we gotta take the VVT solenoid off and a couple other things, but should be good for now. I'd rather just put everything back together and if we have to take it apart again, so be it. But we're gonna raise it and we're gonna start to get that old rear main out, put the new one in because we got this beautiful ORC clutch. We're literally replacing every single thing that goes wrong with the chasers. Isn't that right, Sam? Yep. So this thing should just be get in and go as long as I don't crash it too hard. We shouldn't have any issues, which I'm really excited about because on this channel, we don't really usually have that. So it's gonna be really cool to actually experience a lot of drifting with hopefully not a lot of fixing. If so, Zach's gonna be here. So, uh, hey Zach. So you can see this rear main has definitely seen better days. So uh, we're gonna pop her out and put a new one. It's been leaking everywhere. You can just see it's disgusting. <laughs> This should just pop out though, right? Oh, just kidding. There we go, finally. Jesus Christ. Shoot, oh, okay. Wow, tell me that's not beautiful. <laughs> How sick is that? Yeah, that's different. Before, after. <laughs> Dude, look at the fucking starter motor. Yeah, that's what I was scraping up before. <laughs> like, oh my god, dude. You're gonna have to mop the floors after that. Well, we got cardboard. That's what the cardboard's there for, pal. What do you say in the comments? I already know, I messed up. I probably should have just. Left that rear main in for now. I'm all paranoid. I don't want anything to go wrong, dude. I've waited so long to go to Ebisu. It's the last thing I want. The cool thing about the brake clean here is like it doesn't choke you out or get you super high, which is really nice. Like if I was doing this with American with American brake clean, I would be dying right now, literally. All right, so we got the new seal here. Let's pop these paper towels out gently so they don't rip. Oh, dude, it was like I was born for this shit right here. This is fucking brilliant. Usually I try to keep it like half on the seal and half out, so when you hear metal, it's flush. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Go get me a family chicky and we call it. Oh, chill. All right, boys, well, we got the rear main in. That is awesome, I love that. So, um, let's grab the clutch. Best input shaft ever. <laughs> so Sam uses input shafts for his clutch alignment tools. This is what everyone does here. All right, so 95% of the people that watch my videos are from America. So you guys know when you, oh, hold on, let me clean you. You're a little dirty. Every time you order a clutch in America, it comes with a clutch alignment tool, right? Like. It just makes sense. You buy someone's clutch, it comes with an alignment tool. In Japan, you buy a clutch, no alignment tools. No, well, no, they don't come with it. You gotta buy it separately if you want. So this is this is a separate one, but they're not plastic here. They all come like this, machined. This is $70, and feel this. 
Yeah, so I bought an OS Geiken twin plate for yeah. my um, and Roadster, and it came with a metal one. Okay, so that came with the, the kit, yeah. So this is just a cutoff input shaft from an <laughs> SR transmission. Yeah, dude, it took so long to cut through this. I bet. <laughs> but this works for RVs, SRs, like all the Nissans, so that's So fine. what am I gonna do, for real? You don't even know. I do have a blown R154 there, but using the, reusing the input shaft is what I have to do to rebuild that one, so I don't want to cut it, but a friend down the road will have one, and we can borrow this. His transmission to cut, or? <laughs> well, either one or the other. Dude, I think that's crazy. This is such a cool clutch and a cool kit. Just come with the clutch alignment tool, dude. We can, we can actually get it pretty good with this. No, I don't want to just get it pretty good. I just want it to work. That's going to actually get it really good with the Nis Nissan one. Okay, we'll then just you, wrap a bit of tape then you could do it, and then when we're fighting the trans, you yeah, can I fucking... I'll, I'll happily do that. The only problem is, is no, we can't do it, because It doesn't Toyota, fit in the pilot bearing? Yeah, Toyota has a really small pilot bearing. Dude, god damn it. You know what? <laughs> I feel like every time I'm about to do something, like, for example, yesterday I was putting all the gaskets on the turbo, Matt ordered a twin turbo gasket set of a <laughs> with single. Two of everything that just didn't fit, and we were like, what is this? And we looked up the part number, it was the JZX90 non-VVTi 1J kit. Which, I have one, it's cool, but we're gonna single turbo that too, so it's kind of pointless. But um, I feel like just every step, and then I go to put the diff in, and, and I, I mess up the bearing, dude. And then it's like a two-day wait. Like, I, I, I did tell Chris this. I said, like, welcome to Japan life where you can't just, like, get stuff same day. And I do want to make that a little known because, like, me thinking, like, all right, we're working on a Chaser, we're working on S15s, like, in your head, coming from America, you would almost think it's easier here, but it's the complete opposite. Complete opposite. Like, you gotta have friends that got friends that know someone that has the stuff lying around. Like, half of the stuff on my shelves is just spares in case someone needs it or I need for it. For example, we just bought bearings for the diff. Sam bought like eight of them, just so he always has always them. Always has them, because someone's gonna want a Tomei diff at some point, and the bearings are gonna be on back order, or they can't come for two days, and we need to drift today. This is yeah. what happens. But good guy Sam there. Honestly, that good on you for that. Thank so, you. but I don't know. I guess am I switching? Am I switching projects again? Like, what's going on? Yeah, I guess you're going back to timing, boy. We'll get the clutch alignment tool tomorrow morning. <laughs> Damn it, dude! I'm just gonna do. I'm, I'm gonna do the time. It's time. It's, it's time. time to time. It's time to time. And we're waiting on some things from Serial 9, so honestly, the rear end's a little pointless right now. Damn, I thought you were gonna rhyme again. Cause you went, it's time to do time, and then something with Serial 9. Oh, and then I was like, <laughs> Imagine! Oh, I was waiting for it. I thought you were like on cue. No. Damn. Damn. Missed moment right missed there. It. Missed you moment. You missed it. I was on a roll without even knowing I was that on a roll. Was good. <laughs> Just yeah. keep rolling, rolling, rolling. I thought you were. Oh, uh, uh, what? He missed it. Limb biscuit. What? All right, boys, well, we got the cam gears off. Everything is off. And now, it is time to just slide this sucker up. Okay, now we'll just lightly tap it with a mallet. All right, one down. So on these VVT oh, engines, okay. I learned this from Dud, because he made that mistake. It's a pretty fucking honest mistake, but the cam seals, they're different sizes. So just to be sure, what I did was I took them both out and I was very cautious of where I put them and I just lined them up. So now we just throw them back in, eh? Did you lube that one with oil? Um, not the outside, the insides come a little lubed. Should we good now? Thanks, dude. Appreciate you, you piece of shit. <laughs> Janitor Sam to the rescue. Dude, she's gonna be a ripper, huh? Yeah, dude. I'm actually like have you, really Have you like excited. never driven a 1JZ before? Never drifted a 1... No, well, I just did a 2J in my buddy's S13. Yeah, but that doesn't count, because that thing's like, what, making 700? Yeah. yeah. No, that doesn't count. Yeah, that so, doesn't count. This is literally like a stock 1J. This is the same leaderage like, um, as like an RB25. You've driven mm. one of those, right? Not drifted, no. All right, remember what your 26 was like? Yeah. So imagine Master. that. Master. But that thing was pretty tuned, right? Do you remember what it was like stock? Yeah, slow. Yeah, so. <laughs> it was slow. Are you telling me this is slow? <laughs> this thing will feel way better. This you thing think so? feels like a tuned up 25. Mm. Just from stock because you're running one bar, everything's good. This I think it also, the GTR also felt slow because in my head it was GTR. Yeah. You know? I'm just trying to think of any cars that you have that this thing would be equivalent to, but I don't think you've ever really like gold, like did. No. Gotten into I'm just slow. such a four cylinder boy, you know? Yeah, four cylinders, 
vibrate a lot. Jay-Z's are like one of the smoothest vibrating engines. You can put a freaking clean on the top of this when you're done and it won't fall off. Really? Yeah, like Jay-Z's are insanely good. That's sick. That's good to hear. I'm actually really excited to drift this thing. Yeah, dude, I'm excited for you to just be able to have a good car that's not gonna let you down. That's, that's the number one thing. And then it's just getting doors and practice. And then you'll probably get a little bit more confident and you'll start really enjoying it. And then you're gonna find yourself wanting to start seeing how good you are by competing in grassroots and stuff like that. And you can do that here. Bear in, in mind. This. You could in this, but you gotta understand like a competitive car is really an S chassis here. Okay. With an SR. Yeah. In grassroots. If you, this is a practice car for Ebisu because everyone has this car at Ebisu and you want something strong that's a tank that's not gonna crumble. So you're saying I need an S15? S15, S14, S13, yeah. 15 well, I already have car. a 13 and 14, so I'd love to get a 15. Time for a 15. Dang. But I'm gonna have to get two of them because I want one Drift Boy and then I want one Stance Boy, you know? I mean, I got three. Yeah. <laughs> so there you go. Maybe, maybe five. A couple <laughs> people don't know about it, but... <laughs> But it's, it's, I mean, what can I say? You You're have five S15s, I rice. have five. I'd rather be Ricer 15. Ricer 15? <laughs> I'm Guys, tell us in the comment section, would you mind if Chris changed his channel name? I've been wanting to change my channel name for probably two years. Two I'm just years. terrified of we've it. Talked, we've been talking about this since the moment I got stuck in Florida. That I know. Year. I've been wanting to for yeah. so long, but it's, I just, think, it's I a think scary move. It is a scary move, but I think you'll be fine. I think all of you will come back. No I just want to change it to Rudnick. You know, just cause like rice and Miata, it's, I did it when I was like 16. You know, I didn't really know anything. You person now. Yeah, no I'm one, no, like, not rice or Miata. It's like everyone put in the comments, what was your first email address or Hotmail or MSN, right? I mean, dude, I just showed how much of a boomer I am. So many people who probably watched don't even know what MSN Messenger is. But like your first username is always the one that you want to get rid of the fastest. I know, no, it definitely is. You're not wrong. Like mine was man of mysteries at hotmail.com. What was your first YouTube name? My first YouTube name, Abstract Studios. Okay, so I'm not the only loser yeah, out there. <laughs> Dude, have you seen TJ's? If you look at the link of his uh, YouTube channel, it's like Frosty something. Really? Yeah. Dang, so we were all losers at once. So I just kept my loser name. It's not a loser name, but you know what I mean. Yeah, you've gone from, I think, I think you've grown up and like, like, let's be honest. Do you really want to keep working on Miatas all the time? I like Miatas, but like, I feel like I've changed as a person, you know? So you think you're more of like a- I've changed like physically and mentally. That's an Orion joke. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, I think you have. I think you've grown a lot, especially in the time that I've known you, you've grown a lot. Thanks, buddy. No worries. So you're timing this, right? I'm not dealing with it. Some things never change. <laughs> I just don't want to deal with it. Like you just did it. Your car no, just I made it. it. Timing, timing on an engine that you've never done before is is, is anxiety inducing. Like sure. I could do it, but if you just did it, I'd rather just you 100%. do it. Hundred percent. You know. I'll, how about this? You watch over my shoulder. I'll show you. How about I watch over your shoulder? You be my hands. I just didn't want to do it. <laughs> I know I could do it. I just didn't want to do it. <laughs> I know, but I think you got. <laughs> Damn it! I just didn't want to do it. I'm trying to teach you a lesson. Whatever, dude. All right. Grab it by the bowl. Keep cleaning, all right? You're doing good. Janitor Sam. <laughs> yo, 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 yo! All right, boys. Well, we um, ended up stop work working on the car because we ended up doing some drift carts. If you guys want to check that out, it's going to be on Patreon. But we still have to time it. We still have a bunch of work to do. To be honest, I'm going a little slow, probably slower than I should, but I want to enjoy working on the car. I don't want to just work 12 hours in one sitting and hate my life so i've been kind of doing a little here a little there going to family mart you're having a bunch man. of you gotta enjoy it baby that's what i'm saying and there's a lot of vend dude there's a fucking vending machine that literally it's just random toys it's a scam and it's, it's a scam it it's definitely a scam but yeah. it's so cool you're not gonna pay it's so yeah. funny it shows like ps5s fucking psps it shows literally a logitech steering wheel and the vending machine hole is literally this big yeah it's that big. Buy so the I, whole vending machine out and just prove Wait, show them what I got and throw that to me? Yeah. <laughs> this is what I got out of it. Well, nice PS5, bro. Tell me it's not pretty cool, though. Come yeah. on. Yeah. <laughs> you did. Dude, this that's is our, that's our drift charm, dude. Dude, this is going on the back window for sure. For sure. This is. I did not know it went that crazy. That, that is heinous. <laughs> This is going right next to my duck, dude. Yeah, so, yeah. if you guys want to see this, subscribe for more. <laughs> Anyways, we're out of here. This is a long video. Enjoy it. So, see ya.